Hi friends, today we have brought to you a very interesting math challenge. Find out the number of ways in which you can write 120 as a difference of two perfect squares. And did you realize this question is the same as finding out the number of positive integral solutions for the equation a square minus b square is equal to 120. Just to give you some more idea about this challenge, if I am making a wild guess and I take a as 12, then a square will be 144. If I take b as 5, then b square will be 25. 144 minus 25 is well 190, not 120. So a is equal to 12, b is equal to 5 is close but does not satisfy the equation. It is not a solution. Take another guess. Okay, the easiest would be 121 minus 1, which is 11 square minus 1 square. So A is equal to 11 and B is equal to 1 is indeed one of the solutions. But then the challenge is to find out exactly how many solutions exist. And we can't keep on guessing wildly. At least I always like to have a method to all the madness because mathematics is all about learning logic. So shall we begin? Okay, so I strongly recommend that you try out this question on your own first. It will be fun because now I am going to discuss how to solve this math problem. So a square minus b square is equal to 120. And we need positive integral solutions for this equation, which means a and b can only take values such as 1, 2, 3, 15, 18, etc, etc, that you can count on your fingertips, right? Now we know that a square minus b square can be written as a plus b into a minus b. And if a and b are integers, then a plus b is also an integer. And so is a minus b. a minus b is also an integer. That means the terms a plus b and a minus b are countable numbers and the product of these two terms is 120. Clearly, the terms a plus b and a minus b are factors of 120. So think, in how many ways can you write 120 as a product of two numbers? Think. How many factors are there for the number 120? Now there could be several ways of writing 120 as a product of two numbers. So to get some help, let's resolve 120 into its prime factors. Just think of any two numbers which give 120 as their product. Say 10 into 12. Break down 10 further. 10 is 2 into 5. And break down 12 further. 12 is 3 into 2 into 2. Now we can see that the numbers at the end nodes, the orange ones are all primes. So clubbing them all, 120 can be written as 2 raised power of 3 into 3 raised power of 1 into 5 raised power of 1. This will guide us when we are guessing the factors of 120. One useful tip here, you need to find out only the initial few factors till the approximate square root of this number 120. Square root of 120 is close to 11. So let us see which numbers from 1 to 11 are factors of 120. 1, 2, 3, 4. They are all our factors. So are 5, 6, 8 and 10. That's it. And we know 1 into 120, 2 into 60, 3 into 40, 4 into 30, 5 into 24, 6 into 20, 8 into 15 and 10 into 12. They all are equal to 120. So these are factors too. Next step is quite simple. When we write 120 as a product of two factors, we should be equal to the terms a plus b and a minus b respectively. Just pay attention, a plus b should be greater than a minus b because sum of two positive numbers, a and b, is always greater than their difference, isn't it? So we can write left hand side of this equation as 
120 into 1 or as 60 into 2 or 40 into 3 or 30 into 4 or 24 into 5 or 20 into 6 or 15 into 8 or as 12 into 10 where the term a plus b can take the first of these values and the term a minus b takes the second value. So for example, if I take the value of a plus b as 30 and a minus b as 4 and let's solve these two equations together. Adding both, we get 2a is equal to 34 and a is equal to 17. Subtracting both, we get 2b is equal to 26. So b is equal to 13. Let's verify if these values of a and b satisfy our equation. Indeed, 17 square minus 13 square is equal to 289 minus 169, which is equal to 120. So this is indeed a solution. So that means each of these eight ways of writing 120 as a product of two numbers can potentially give us a real solution. But there is a catch here. Let's try out if 120 into 1 gives us a proper solution. So if we take a plus b is equal to 120 and a minus b is equal to 1 and adding them, we get 2a is equal to 121. So a is equal to 60.5 and subtracting we get b is equal to 59.5. But remember, we need a and b to be positive integers, countable numbers. Does that mean we have to solve equations for each of these eight ways to verify? Well, no. And here comes hint number three, which is if a and b are positive integers, then a plus b and a minus b, either both are even or both are odd. You can verify this by taking various pairs of numbers. For now, that means we keep only the combinations of even and even and rule out the combinations of even and odd because they will not give us integral values of a and b. So this option, this option, this option and this option are ruled out. For each of the remaining four pairs, we get one solution for each. Thus, there are four solutions. I am tabulating those solutions in these tables. If a plus b and a minus b take these values, then a and b take these. And as you can see on your screen, they are integers. Here is a verification that a square minus b square is equal to 120 for each of these four pairs. So that brings us to the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed this math challenge. Now try out the same question for the following numbers and post your answers in the comments box below. We will be happy to receive your feedback on our videos and address your doubts and queries. Also, don't forget to like and share. Take care everyone.